How you doing guys? For this uh, week's topic we're going to talk about exporting Final Cut Pro 10 XML files into Motion which um, is really a problem with some of the Apple's Pro apps. They don't necessarily transition smoothly from one app to another um, and of course doing this into Motion is a, a big problem so they're you tend to have to do some workarounds, either, either do it manually, which takes a uh, huge amount of time, or use a third-party app such as xsend to motion which is a $99 app. But uh, in case uh, you don't use Motion that much or uh, it doesn't justify the price, um, you can, there's actually a website you can go to, which I'll put a uh, link in the description. I believe it's a French site, and I can't even uh, pronounce that very well. But um, it's called Final Cut Round Trip, and you simply upload your XML file, and it will spit out a, a motion file. And so we're going to do that now. Now, initially it didn't work because my XML file had effects uh, and colorization, which it doesn't currently support. So you got to make sure you upload just the raw files. That of course you can. Uh, be edited your different clips together which is fine um, so we're going to upload a file right now uh, which we already have ready and uh, then you just click on export file once and if you look on the lower left hand side there we go it's already finished of course it's a short file and we're just going to click on that and then it just opens uh, appears to be a little bit slow. There you go. Opens up in motion. And uh, it works actually quite well. So there you go. Uh, if you're having problems exporting uh, Final Cut Pro 10 into motion, uh, this is one alternative you can try for yourself.